Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, deal with uh, type conversions or uh, type casting in uh, C programming language. So first, let us uh, uh, look how uh, implicit uh, type casting works. Okay, so there are uh, two kinds of type castings in uh, C. So one is implicit, uh, one is, and the other is explicit. Okay, so first we are going to uh, look how the implicit type casting uh, works. Okay. So let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a Turbo C IDE for uh, doing our uh, C program. Okay. So I'm just saving the file with uh, so implicit or I type cast whatever you wanted here. Okay. So whatever you wanted, uh, you can save I type cast dot cpp. Uh, so now, um, so let me add all the basic stuff like uh, header files, stdio.h. So hash include uh, So wide main. So all the basic stuff like wide main. Guess here. Okay. So nothing excited happens here. Let me make some room for myself here. Okay. So uh, type casting, uh, which means uh, in a simple way that uh, converting uh, from one type uh, to another type. Okay. So if you want to convert, uh, uh, like if you declare a variable, so let's take an example here. So let's say uh, int, or else let's take it as uh, okay. So let's take an int variable uh, i, or let's say okay. So let's take another. Uh, let's take uh, let's assign some value to it. Uh, let's say int i is equal to one. And let's take a float here. So float, uh, let's say f to keep it simple. So if you say something like this, f is equal to i. So what happens in the background is automatically. Uh, so this uh, int is will be converted into a floating point uh, literal or floating point type float type here. Okay. So if you uh, are crazy enough and if you uh, print out what the f variable consists here. Okay. So I have just uh, using the print of statement with the help of print of statement i am just uh, printing it out uh, whatever the value that we have assigned so initially the one is supposed to be an integer type so when you assign into a floating point variable so you need to get uh, uh, what we call the, the floating point as a result here okay so if you press one second if you press if you run the program so you get uh, 1.000 and so on and so forth here. Okay. So initially uh, the one sup one is supposed to be an uh, integer uh, here. So one is supposed to be an integer. So when you assign that integer uh, into an uh, what we call the floating point uh, variable, so automatically it gets upgraded into a floating point, uh, converted into a floating point, and that's the reason you are getting uh, uh, your output as uh, the one uh, integer is converted into float, and you are getting that output. And when you use the print of statement, you are getting it as uh, floating point variable here. Okay, so in the same way, uh, so if you take a floating point variable, so let's say float, uh, let's say f2 is equal to let's say 3.1, 3.1425, and or something like that. Okay, so now if you say take another uh, integer variable, let's say i2. So if you say something like this, if you assign a uh, floating point variable f2. If we assign this uh, f2 variable uh, value into and this integer variable, okay. So if you see what happens here, okay. So i2 is equal to f2, okay. So now what happens is, uh, uh, so if you see the result here, so if you print it out uh, uh, like uh, some uh, percentage d comma i2, okay, okay. So if you run the program. It's a bit uh, messy here. I2 is equal to F2. Okay, <laughs> we need to print it out. Uh, percentage D I2. So it's a bit uh, messy here. Okay. So let me uh, put the clear screen at the beginning. CLR CR. <laughs> we are. We need to get ourselves acquainted with this uh, format strings, which are very nice, such that the output will not be messy here. Okay, so if you observe here, uh, you get the output as three. That's because uh, so even though you assign some uh, a real value or uh, the floating point value with some decimal uh, digits after the point, uh, so when you assign that f2 into your uh, integer variable, 
so when you assign that f2 into your uh, integer variable so uh, floating point value integer variable, automatically the fraction part uh, if you observe here uh, gets truncated so to make it clear let's uh, let's enhance our uh, printf statement for better understanding here let's say slash and slash t so f2 is equal to slash and slash t f2 is equal to uh, so percentage f so that's the value uh, we are storing uh, initially percentage f comma f2 okay so after converting uh, into uh, after assigning that into uh, i2 so let's say now i2 is equal to so after assigning f2 into uh, i2 so you get i2 value here okay uh, let me run the program now for a better understanding of oh, we got an error oh, missed the semicolon okay so if you observe here uh, so initially uh, the f2 is equal to some uh, 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 so uh, some uh, floating point uh, constants so 1.34 uh, 1. 1.452 1.4 1. 1.3 sorry 3.1425 and 00 that's because uh, the default uh, Prussian value for float is uh, 7 so including uh, the rounding uh, including the zeros it's showing uh, the full length here okay so if you observe uh, as soon as we have uh, assigned that value uh, into our integer variable automatically this fraction part uh, gets truncated so also if you want you can have another printer statement here so let's say slash and slash and slash t let's have a small stupid message after uh, i2 is equal to f2 so after i2 is equal to f2 so let's say something like this and uh, if you run the program <coughs> excuse me so if you observe here uh, so you get uh, so after doing this uh, i2 uh, value so prior to that let's i think uh, to make it more clear let's assign the i2 also here so let's say oh, i2 will be nothing here okay so uh, after doing uh, uh, i2 uh, f2 i2 is equal to f2 so automatically this fraction part uh, gets truncated here the fraction part uh, whatever you have uh, uh, gets truncated and uh, uh, it's uh, just displays the integer or just uh, takes the integer here okay so integer so here i2 is and since i2 is an integer variable uh, it cannot uh, uh, convert uh, it cannot uh, it cannot convert uh, so it cannot handle the fraction part or decimal numbers uh, so that's the reason it's getting truncated here okay so this is how you perform uh, the implicit type cats or automatic uh, type conversion in uh, c plus uh, c programming language so let's me put a couple of comments here okay so let me say uh, so implicit int to float conversion so implicit int to float conversion and here we are converting float to int here okay so by this uh, equal to assignment statement uh, we are telling the compiler uh, implicit uh, float to int conversion conversion here okay so we are converting uh, implicitly okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to convert a float to int or int to uh, int to float uh, okay so if you want you can have another message also uh, so like uh, printf so for better understanding here slash and slash t uh, so here let's say so f is equal to percentage f or else in the in the previous one so i is equal to percentage t that's what its uh, original value it's an integer here okay so after uh, you can say on a mother message here so printf slash and slash t slash and slash t so after uh, f is equal to i so we get the result something like this here okay so run your program oops we got an error forgot to close the quotations silly errors here we are getting making all the silly errors okay so after uh, f is equal to y you get uh, the f gets converted into still our output is uh, quite a bit uh, messy so let's uh, let's uh, put our output uh, more uh, understandable with some stars and all those things the implicit conversion from uh, int to float okay
okay so let's do the same thing here also let's differentiate a bit here the implicit conversion from uh, int to from float int to float okay so here int int to float and float to int here okay so here we have done uh, that's what you have done here so float to int okay So also let's uh, put some uh, slash n a couple of times such that the output will not be a uh, messy here. A couple of times for better understanding. So all these things, uh, for, uh, formatting things are not that mandatory. So if once you grab the underlying uh, things, how it's working here. Okay. So initially the value of i is one. So after assigning, so now you see the output is very clean and uh, very easier to understand here. Okay. So i2 is equal to f2. Oops, we have a, a mistake here. f2. I2 is equal to F2. Yeah, okay. So now if you look into the output here, so everything is clear for us. So, okay. So initially the value of I is 1 and after assigning uh, that integer value into a floating point variable F, so you automatically that integer is converted into a floating point and that's the reason uh, you're getting 1.000 as a floating point value. In the same way, in the second example for implicit type conversion from float to int, uh, so if we take something like this, uh, if F2 is equal to, uh, uh, so like uh, some floating point uh, constant, like uh, if you take it as 3.1425 as a pi value and if uh, after, as soon as you assign that into an integer variable i2, so automatically the fraction part gets truncated and we are getting the result as uh, 3, only that, only the integer part, okay. So this is the basic stuff how to uh, convert, uh, sorry, implicitly converting uh, variables uh, from one type to another in C. So see you in the next lesson.